Okay, we're now at the point where we can do our sewer line profiles. That begins on page 1-21 in our uh, manual titled Sewer Line Profiles, Adding a Sewer Line Profile. As you can see, we can cut a profile through your sewer system from any node to any node. So from node to node can be, and we can go upstream, downstream, vice versa. So you have to just choose, you know, the nodes, and then we'll cut the quickest profile from one node to the other. Very similar to water lines and their profiles, there's quite a lot of settings for display, and so we'll have the very similar edit dialog, edit profile dialog to modify and change the display. So let's go ahead and cut a couple. I'm going to open up view 3. In view 1 I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Oops. In view 1 I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And cut a profile from from a, along the top down through the middle of the site all the way to the first to the outlet, so to speak. So from water sewer, I'm going to go water sewer profile sewer add. Everything gets a name because we're placing it in the water sewer project file. And I'll just call this profile one. Maybe it's a the main trunk, or you can just say it's a profile of, I guess, SL1 and SL2. So sewer line 1 and 2 is what I'm profiling essentially here. So my from node, I'm going to start at the top, is going to be sewer node 7. And my bottom node will be sewer node 1. So here I click apply, and that will bring up the sewer line dialog. Now you'll notice that the display and the grid and labels tab, that'll be set up just how I drew the water lines. So it's the same dialog essentially being used. So therefore, I want to pull in some preferences on how I draw sewer line profiles. So under my File button, I'm going to Open. And again, I'm going to navigate through my folder system to my Standards folder. So I'm going to back out of Water Sewer into Site, scroll down into Standards, and grab my Sewer Profile Standards for drafting profiles. So I open that up, and I'll check the display now. I can see that the soffit and the invert of the pipes are different. My grid and labels, I'm doing a little bit more labeling now. So I just need to, back at the registration tab, I need to establish the lower left point, or the registration point. So I click the DP button select a blank area in view 3 that I opened and I'll click apply at this point and it plots the profile so I may have to zoom out in view 3 and I can see the profile drawn I can see some information like I can see some drainage there. If I zoom uh, along the pipe, so the conflicts show up. And I can see if you notice 
in the middle of the profile I can see a conflict of a sewer line. Sewer line 3 and 4 is crashing through my sewer line 2. And we'll fix that in a few minutes. Before we fix that, I'm going to draw some other profiles. So I, I'm going to just stack them on top of the other profile. So to create other profiles, you simply go to Water Sewer, Profiles, Sewer, Add, and we'll create a couple more. Profile number two. I'll go from 10 to 8. Establish my registration point and apply. Profile again. Number 3 this time. And I'll go, let me zoom out a little bit in my plan view. And this time I'll start up at the top right and go to the middle. So from 12 to 8. Establish my lower left corner and apply. And I would continue to make other profiles. There is a table on page 1-22 and you can use that to help in establishing your profiles. Now that we have our profile created, the next step is to make some modifications. And so we'll look at that next.